Greetings viewers, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we've got something very special. Uh, something I've been waiting about two months to get to me from when it shipped out and it finally arrived to me today. And that is, as you see from the reflective little banner and the nice black and gold box here, it's the Knipex uh, 250K Challenge uh, gold Cobra pliers that I won. If you were part of the community post back in the summer, I posted the picture and link uh, to the uh, Knipex uh, contest for these gold Cobras. I believe they gave away 250 pair and I happened to win one of them. Uh, thanks a lot to you viewers that went and voted for my picture. Uh, greatly, greatly appreciate that. Uh, along with the Gold Cobras, we have a, another tool uh, from Germany, so we'll make it a German mini haul video. Uh, this is a set of extra, extra long combination wrenches from Hatzet. Uh, this is not the first Hatzet tool we have featured. Uh, we did the uh, Hyper quarter inch ratchet. Uh, we did the extendable Hyper half inch drive ratchet and I believe that was it from Hatzet. We've done more uh, Stahl Villa uh, than anything and uh, Knipex, uh, but this is the 600 LG slash 13 combo wrench set. There are, I believe, three variants of this set. I believe there's a 10 piece, the 13 piece, and I believe there's a uh, 15 or 17 piece, but I picked this set due to the sizes in it and what it covered. Uh, so we'll push this off to the side for now and start off with the cream of the crop, the Knipex 250K Challenge Gold Cobras. So this was the little postcard that Knipex included in the uh, packaging with this, uh, just saying congratulations on winning, blah, 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 uh, with the cool little reflective uh, text there on the postcard. Uh, but on to the actual gold Cobras themselves. Nice matte black box uh, with the gold leaf on it. I believe these are actually little uh, metallic gold corners uh, in the box here. It's also a display box because on the back you've got a little uh, display uh, kickstand uh, to show this off. So without further ado, let's go ahead and open this up and take a look. And here they are, the rarest uh, Knepex uh, Cobras, mini Cobras around, uh, as proclaimed on the card. Uh, they only made 250 of these, and I have uh, number 91 of the run. Uh, so definitely not going to be put in rotation to be used. These will definitely be uh, something that will go up with my gold 95th anniversary snap on ratchet, all of my dad's old uh, gold technician tool awards from uh, Domler Chrysler when he was a, a Mopar technician. Uh, this will go with my Pearl White 95th anniversary snap-on ratcheting screwdriver. This will go with the Vessel uh, 220 Limited Gold, Silver, and Pearl White screwdrivers. This is just a collectible item, nothing that's going to be used. Although I do have this set of Cobras and I use them every single day. Anytime I go anywhere, they are always in my pocket and part of my EDC. Uh, these are part number 8701125, uh, the 125 denoting they're 125 millimeters. I'll put a link in the description uh, to the Amazon store where you can purchase your own set of these. These are a lifesaver. So, so many uses for these things. Uh, in everyday life, I use them every single day. And like I said, I always have them with me. So nice to have a jeweled, beautiful version uh, that I can have added to my special tool collection. Uh, so we'll get the macro lens out and get some up close beauty shots of this and uh, interlace them, I'm sure. But uh, yeah, definitely not gonna put grubby hands on it and uh, play with it too much. It's gonna stay in this box. So on to something else, something we can play with, something we can use, amuse, and uh, try out is the Hatzet 
uh, 600 LG 13 combo rent set. As you see, the box is tore all to pieces. Uh, the box I got this in from Amazon Germany uh, was very beat up. This actually took a fair amount of time to get. This is the longest I've had to wait for uh, Amazon order from overseas. Uh, most of my Amazon Japan orders uh, between order shipment and receiving is two to four days. And uh, most things I get from Amazon Germany uh, take five to seven days at the most. Uh, but these were ordered October 10th, and I believe I didn't receive them till uh, last week. It was the 20 something of October. So I don't remember exactly uh, the date, but it was a good near month it took to get these. So that out of the way, let's go ahead and open them up and check them out. I've already opened them and checked them out myself. If you follow me on Instagram, you already saw the pictures of them, uh, but they come wrapped in wax paper, uh, separating out a few sizes at a time. Uh, we've got the 11 and 12 and the 10 and 13 up top here. Peel down another layer. We've got the 14, 17, the 15, 16. Peel down another layer. And we've got the remainder of the set, our big boy wrenches. So let's go ahead and get this out of the way, get these out and uh, get them a little more organized. All right, guys, here is the set all laid out. This 13 piece set includes a 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 21, 22, and 24. As you see, we do get it longer as we increase the size of the hex. Um, right off the boat, price on these wrenches at the time of making the video, I believe the set was uh, 192.55 uh, euro, which was about 211, 212 US dollars, if I recall correctly. Uh, overall, after looking at them, I was fairly impressed with the quality of them. Uh, the matte chrome finish on them is a little bit different uh, than the Stahlvilla wrenches, and I actually prefer the finish on the Stahlvillas. Uh, this actually might not be matte chrome, it might be um, uh, satin. I'm not exactly sure which it is. Uh, overall, first impression, I'm pretty, um, I'm pretty impressed with them, but I did notice right away a manufacturer defect on the 10 millimeter. Uh, you might be able to make it out, you might not, but the brooch on the box end of the 10 millimeter is not centered. It is down uh, from center. So it's fatter up here and in down here more than it should be. Uh, very disappointed in that. I don't know if uh, Hazet will be uh, willing to warranty replace this as it's a defective uh, casting. I don't know if it'll hurt the overall performance of the wrench, uh, but it stuck out like a sore thumb to me instantly upon handling it. Uh, aside from that, in the set, I did find another defect. I believe it was, uh, yes, in the 13 millimeter. Uh, again, not sure if you'll be able to see that. I need to get the macro lens out, but there's a big knot, big uh, uh, area knocked out of the finish right here on the handle. It isn't very rough. I can feel it though. It's not smooth like the rest of the wrench, uh, but another eyesore for a, you know, top quality German tool manufacturer that's been in business for 152 years. I would expect a little bit better uh, quality of finish and a little bit better uh, inspection of what left the factory uh, than that. But other than that, I haven't really seen any other issues. I haven't really used them at all. I kept them in the box to film the video first. I took them out, took some pictures for Instagram, and then this will be the first unboxing before I actually start using them. Uh, but I did note immediately the 10 millimeter and the defect in the handle of the 13, and I believe, yep, the 11, which I don't think I'll ever really use. Uh, if this will focus, I don't think it's going to want to. Uh, but right there on the very tip, of the open end of the 11, there's a defect there. Uh, so we'll get the macro lens out and take a better look at those in a little bit. Uh, but overall, that's the set. Uh, as I said, they have a 10 piece set, which I believe is 10 to 19. Uh, this was the 13 piece set that gives you the 21, the 22, and the 24, which are all uh, 
nice wrenches to have for me, 21 and 22, especially on GM products. Uh, the 21 on suspension stuff, so it's nice having the extra leverage and uh, the 24 as well, I believe on uh, steering racks on GM pickup SUV. Uh, so that's why I wanted this set with the 21, 22, and 24. Everything I need on a Subaru will be the 19, 17, uh, 14, 12, and 10. So the 11, 13, 15, 16, and 18 really won't be getting much use other than other Ford, GM, et cetera. It's just not gonna be a uh, Asian vehicle Subaru deal. Uh, so with that said, let's break off really quickly. I'm gonna pull out the 10 and the 17 mil and possibly the 24 and show you the size difference of these wrenches compared to uh, Snap-on and Mac, just so you can see how much greater the length is on these super extra long combo wrenches. All right, guys, starting off with the comparison. Up top, we've got a Mac knuckle saver. We've got a standard length Snap-on Flank Drive Plus. We've got a Mac Precision Torque. We've got a Snap-on Flank Drive Plus XL. And then we've got the Hatzet 600 LG Heavy Duty at the bottom. Uh, it's got a good inch, inch and a half length advantage on all the rest. Uh, don't have a Matco wrench to compare with, uh, just using what I've got handy. Uh, now we'll take a quick look at the 17 mil, see how they stack up. All right, running out of focal length a little bit, but starting at the top, we've got the equivalent Mac knuckle saver. This is actually an old school 1980 something Mac wrench. I don't have the knuckle saver. I only have the knuckle saver and a couple of wrenches that filled in missings out of that set. And below that, we have the standard 17 mil Snap-on Flank Drive Plus wrench. And we have the Mac Precision Torque, the Mac, uh, the Snap-on Flank Drive Plus XL, and the Hatzet 600 LG. Uh, pulling out about a half an inch to an inch lead over the Flank Drive Plus XL. Uh, in the 24 mil uh, comparison, you're going to see a big advantage for the Hatzet. All right, on to the 24 millimeter comparison. As you see, we're out of focal length. Really need to put a wide angle lens on here for this. Uh, but as you see, we only have three to compare against cause once you get up to the larger sizes, I don't have very much variation in wrenches. Uh, so we've got the Snap-on Flank Drive Plus standard length 24. We've got the Mac Precision Torque 24. And then by a country mile, we have the Hazette 600 LG uh, way out. Uh, probably a good four, four and a half inch advantage on the Mac and Snap-on. So that's where these Hatzet uh, 600 LG wrenches really shine is when you get above 19 millimeter and get those extra, extra long lengths you need. All that extra leverage uh, for those larger fasteners. So this is going to come in great, I believe, for, as I said, uh, GM uh, control arms on pickup trucks, SUVs, uh, steering racks, things of that nature. Uh, just make it a little bit easier to get in and work on and uh, give me a little bit more pulling strength than my Snap-on and Mac wrenches. All right, guys, and there you have it for today's German tool haul. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next video.